Hello and welcome to another Eco Electric video. Today we're going to leave solar alone for a little while and uh, look at some of the KNX smart home automation systems that we have on the wall. This will once again be one of several videos uh, simply because what is contained inside are these two by 72 pole switchboards is immensely complicated and uh, each module deserves a video in itself. So what we have here is, as I said, two 72 pole boards. This is a, I guess you could say, an average suburban two-story home uh, in Brisbane, running an office as well. And we have 144 poles of control gear. This place is rather extensively controlled. Up here, we have all of our power circuits, controlling relays along here, which in turn affect our general power circuits, and then individual items such as stoves, air conditioners, washing machines, dishwashers, dryers, and so on. They're all standard 240 volt relays, and they are controlled by these KNX 10 channel, four amp output modules. So our computer system talks to these modules, which then switches these relays, which are, of course, fed by your traditional circuit breaker scenario. Up here, we have a 12 to 24 volt uh, transformer. That's because various devices in this house require a separate voltage. There is a heating element in the weather station. There are various security cameras. Some of the bus devices in this switchboard require a separate voltage. So we have installed that centrally. This is a centrally distributed system and it is all then cabled from there. Uh, in the main section, we have three phases. We have a dedicated section here. This controls the actual system and is backed up by UPS. Up here, we have a night tariff section for the swimming pool and hot water system. Down here, some more KNX modules. This is a uh, two channel time clock. This is a 10 channel uh, zero volt input module used for connecting inputs such as reed switches. Down here, we have another two channel time clock. These are actually no longer in use now because we're, we're running all of our timing functions uh, through our visualization and automation server, which I will show you in a sec. And this is a standard uh, lighting module, 10 channels, uh, four amps per channel, and each one of these is connected to a light in the system. I've just switched that to manual so that I can operate the lights manually and we will now switch it back to auto, uh, which connects it back to system control. Down here we have another 10 channels of lighting, so all up, 20 channels of lighting on and off, 20 channels of power on and off, 10 channels of inputs, and down here we have dimmer modules. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, three channels each. That's 18 channels of dimming, 300 watts per channel. Uh, these particular dimming modules, like most of the more quality items on the market, can be combined. So you can use them as a single channel 900 watt dimmer or 3x300. Once again, all of this equipment is connected back to this here, which is an automation server. So this server here takes KNX bus out, which connects all of these modules. It also takes Ethernet in from the internet and a power supply. This is what effectively allows us to visualize the house through our tablets or phones. And it is in this server which we can do logic functions uh, and various other control scenarios, meaning that we no longer need items such as two channel time clocks. Next to it, uh, you have an ABB iBus uh, IP gateway. Uh, it's an ABB KNX product. Uh, and this is a, a multicast router. So 
it allows the the KNX system to connect uh, to the ETS programming software on the computer in our office uh, and gives us access to the system from that software. Uh, because it's multicast, it also allows the automation server to be connected at the same time. If you use a point-to-point -point router, when your automation server is connected, you won't be able to connect through ETS and vice versa. Uh, Favourite trick for beginners, one that I have fallen for on several occasions. Look, that will probably do as a basic tour of this system. We will take you through some more of these modules in a bit more detail and uh, show you more at a later date. Have a great week. We'll talk to you in the future.